Hello everyone, welcome to Everything Arsenal and obviously the international break is going on. Um, four more days to go until the return of the Premier League but some of our players have been on international duty so in this video we're going to be taking a look at those players. How have they done with their international teams? How many games have they won? Have they lost more games just like they were doing at Arsenal? Have they picked up any injuries that they fit when they come back to Arsenal um, against Norwich? Um, that game, very, very important game. How many goals have they scored? Have they provided any assists? We're going to be taking a look at all that. And uh, make sure to smash the like button. Make sure to subscribe. I'll really appreciate it. And let's get straight into it. Let's get to our captain, Gabon's captain, Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. Now, he played two games for Gabon. One against Libya, which they lost 2-1, unfortunately for them. They actually conceded in the 94th minute. And in the second game, it was actually a big one. It was Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang against Mohamed Salah. Egypt against Gabon at Gabon's home ground. Gabon actually took the lead a few minutes after Egypt picked up a red card. Not Aubameyang scoring, though. But they let the lead like, slip yet again. They conceded in the 90th minute this time round an equalizer and not a winner. So two games for Aubameyang, both playing in all 90 minutes, but no goals for him, no assists, and um, crucially no wins for his country in a World Cup qualifier. One loss and one draw against Egypt. You'd say a good draw, but um, they had the lead in that game. So unfortunately, it wasn't really a good draw for him. So that was Aubameyang, two games. He should be back in England by now. They played the game early on on... Um, on Sunday, so you should be back. They have no third game like the European teams. They're only playing two games. So that was Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. The next player who you'd expect to play all 90 minutes in both games as well is Martin Odegaard, another one who captains his country. Now, obviously, he enjoys playing in the international um, scene, obviously playing alongside Haaland, one of the best strikers in Europe right now, one of the best strikers in the world. Um, for, for Norway now, they did actually draw in the first game against Netherlands. What a draw for them. Not easy drawing with Netherlands. Netherlands, obviously, a very good team. And in the second game, they managed to pick up a victory away to Latvia. A 2-0 victory for Odegaard and his boys. Very, very good victory. So one draw and one um, win. They definitely take that. So Odegaard has enjoyed. He's actually played a crucial part in both games. Um, creating chances for Haaland, creating chances for his teammates. There's one chance he created for Haaland, water break, um, some good technique, and a good pass to Haaland where Haaland hit the post. That was against Netherlands. So, yeah, Odegaard, that's, uh, that has been Odegaard's international scene so far, international duty. Two games, no losses, so he's probably enjoying playing in the international scene more than the club scene, unfortunately. The third play he'd expect to play every single minute as well is Karen Tierney. Now, for him, he didn't enjoy the first game. They end up losing to Denmark 2 0. And in the second game, they actually managed to pick up a victory against Moldova, a 1 0 victory for Karen Tierney and his captain there, Robertson. So, Tierney, two games, 90 minutes for both. Um, luckily, no injuries for him. Not sure if he's going to play in the third game, but we really need him back and fit. We, this is the kind of player that we need back firing in the next game against Norwich City. So that has been Karen Tierney's international duty. So the rest of the players, obviously, you wouldn't expect them to play 90 minutes in both or three games. And uh, one of them is Bukayo Saka. He does not need to play 90 in, in two or three games. Only one is enough for him. He played on his birthday against Andorra. They won the game 4 nil. He scored, he assisted. And what made me happy in this game is how close everyone was to him. And how happy everyone was for him scoring that goal. The likes of Grealish, Lingard, Mount, all of them visibly very, very happy for Saka scoring that goal on his 20th birthday. The fans as well seem to have forgiven him for missing the penalty, although no one really hated him apart from the, the silly people who obviously did whatever you know what they did. Um, but for Saka, um, a very, very good game on his birthday. Let's hope we can keep him fit for his return at Arsenal because we also need him to be at the top of his game when we return against the likes of Norwich and Burnley. The next player we're going to talk about is Albert Sambi Lokonga. Got his first ever senior call-up, um, played 25, uh, not 25, he came on in the 75th minute and played 15 minutes against Estonia. They won the game 5-2, obviously. It's a bit easy to play against Estonia and a bit easy playing in the Belgium side. You come on when the likes of Hazard and... Um, 
the likes of Lukaku already done the job. He came for, he came on for Hazard actually. You'd say he's better than Hazard, yes, no, maybe, yes. I'd say yes. <laughs> so Lukonga, what a what a what a what a month for him making his international uh, debut. We really need him to be at the top of his game as well. We don't have Xhaka at the moment, but he's still injured. So Albert Sambi Lokonga looks a certainty to play in our midfield. So let's see how he does. The next player who played was Band Leno. He actually played the first game against Liechtenstein, a game where they won 2 0, a game where he kept a clean sheet. So um, you wouldn't expect him to play a lot of games. Uh, Germany have a lot of goalkeepers, the likes of Neuer. But in the one he played, kept a clean sheet against Liechtenstein. So happy for him again. Another one who we really need to be at the top of his game when he returns. Um, obviously, the players who are surrounding him in Germany, the likes of Gunduan, Sane, Kimmich, Havertz are not the same that are at Arsenal. So let's hope we can up our game like this German team after their game in the last um, match versus Armenia. They actually won the game 6 0 Vana scored in both games, if you want to know the goal scorer. Sane scored. Nabri scored and Ban Leno kept a clean sheet in the first game. So those are the players who played. The last one is Kolasinac, um, the one and only who got injured, unfortunately, but it's not a serious injury. Kunde almost broke his foot, man. Very, very terrible injury. But yeah, he got carried off, but he looks okay to be at least um, to return for the Premier League games. Maybe most of you would not want to see him in the Premier League games, but he will be fit for those games. So he played and they actually picked up a draw against France away from home. So that was a good result for Bosnia. So those are the players who played on international duty. Aubameyang playing two games for Gabon. Tierney playing two games for Scotland so far. Odegaard playing two games for Norway so far. Saka playing one game for England so far. Um, Lokonga playing 50 minutes for Belgium so far. Leno playing one game for Germany so far, and Kolasinac playing the first half of the game against France. So that has been the international watch. Um, let me know if you've watched any of those games, what you've made of um, our players' performances, any impressions, do you expect them to improve when they come back to the club um, scene? Um, Saka obviously really, really happy for him getting the goals on his birthday, and obviously Lokonga making his debut happy for him. Odegaard looks pretty happy. Let's hope he can create the chances for us. Let's hope Tini improves. He's had a tough two, three games so far in the season. And yeah, hope, hopefully Kolasnach will be okay as well. So those are our players. Obviously, Xhaka was called up, but he got COVID, so he missed out. Um, he will recover maybe in a week or two. And he's all, uh, anyway suspended from the Premier League game. So we won't be seeing Xhaka for quite a while. So that's the latest from the international scene. Make sure to smash the like button. I really appreciate it. Thank you for watching. Keep things safe and I'll catch up with you guys on the next one.